Hey everybody and happy Monday. This is Queen of Light 1111 here with your Monday energy check-in. This is a um, energy check-in for Divine Feminine for this upcoming full moon that is occurring tomorrow. So tomorrow, August 1st, is a full moon um, in Aquarius. And so we are using the Moonology deck here just to see what Divine Feminine's theme is for this full moon and what is her theme as related just to her journey and then as related to her journey with masculine. If you guys want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, or healing session, go to queenoflight1111.com. So what we have here as the theme for the reading is don't let pride get in your way, full moon in Leo. Now, viewers, please don't get confused by this. Whenever I use the moonology deck during the full moon or the new moon, people are like, oh, but it's in this, in this planet, blah, blah, blah. Right, but we're using the moonology deck, and so each of these cards have their own, you know, message around around that energy. Yes, I know the full moon is in Aquarius, but this card is don't let pride get in your way, full moon in Leo, okay? So don't get confused. Just listen to the messages. So the theme for this reading, don't let pride get in your way. So when this card comes up, this is all about the energy of, you know, following your, you know, not the distortion, right? When you think of pride, pride becomes an obstacle, right? Pride is connected very closely to ego. Um, Leo energy really is all about the heart. We are in Leo season, right? The, the, the lion is that king of the jungle. But it also has a very big heart. That energy is magnificent. And when it's combined with the full moon, it can become over the top. So when you get this card in a reading, it's this energy of operating in more love and more thoughts for the greater good rather than um, using your wound or your distortion to affect your ego, right? And getting into the energy of the distorted Leo. I hope that makes sense. This is this energy of, you know, um, being bright, being the light. It's this energy of, yes, being in your self-esteem and self-worth, but not in the energy of arrogance or vanity. What I'm really, truly getting for this with feminines is, is that, you know, we always talk about masculine and their pride and their ego. This card is coming up for divine feminine. Have you ever thought that holding on to this connection is part of pride and ego? Right? We always talk about letting go. We always talk about surrendering. But sometimes when we're holding on and holding on to something, it's our pride getting in the way. How dare he choose the third party? How dare he not pay attention or return my text or my phone call? That's pride. Someone's not choosing you. Have enough self-worth and self-esteem to say they're not choosing to engage with me. They're not choosing this connection and keep going your merry way. But it's that pride and that wound that keeps us holding on. How He's not doing this, he's not doing that, or he's not coming forward. And so he's mirroring, his pride and ego is mirroring your pride and ego. The more he is not paying attention, the more someone may be holding on energetically. And that is pride. So I have to tell you, for whoever is resonating, holding on is pride too. Holding on is the energy of how dare you not choose me and this divine connection. That's your pride getting in the way. People have free will. We have to understand that. We have to accept that. And so I do feel like the theme of this reading for Divine Feminine is don't let your pride keep you holding on to someone or a connection or something or even pain because you know that you deserve a divine love. Well, if someone's not choosing the divine love or the divine connection, you can't make them. And so here we have 
Another confirmation, third chakra, Archangel Shamuel, Leo the lion. Look at this. This is this yellow, right, energy. And here it is, the solar plexus. It is this holding on to coming together and the pause that really needs to be released. Yes, maybe the connection didn't last as long as you wanted to. Maybe you felt so entirely lucky and it was unexpected and it was so happy, but sometimes it felt like a fling or it was too short lived. Don't let the pride of your emotions keep you holding on to this union because it is in a place of suspension. If he's not choosing you or the connection, if he's not engaging with you in a reciprocal and equal manner, you have to start getting into that inner personal power, the divine part of Leo, which is heart-centered, loving, personal power, strength, versus pride holding on, resisting because of weakness or not feeling like enough. So what is the theme for feminine's connection just in general, uh, not connection, feminine's journey in general, just for divine feminine? What is the theme for this full moon? What do you need to release? The waning moon. You can't make this up. These all flew out. So spirit is saying to divine feminine, what do you need to release? Stop resisting what is happening on your journey. Release the emotional baggage now. Focus on healing instead of putting your foot in it and choosing your battles and waiting for victory in something. Go out. Have fun. Be present in your 3D life. Don't just sit up in the 5D and just where everything is perfect right? Where, where, the, where the union is always there and just live in that la-la land. You guys know, I've been saying this for five years. I am a reader of the 3D energies. Yes, I understand full well that this is also an energetic connection, but you are living on this earth, people. Experience life. So spirit's message to you, feminines only for your journey for this full moon is it's time to release something. Release emotional baggage. Stop resisting what is happening. Get into a place of acceptance. Yes, do the energetic work. Yes, do the meditation. Yes, do the yoga. But focus on that for you. Heal yourself. Heal this constant need to battle and fight for this connection and wait for victory in it. Go out. Have fun, go to a party, go to an event, network. Be a part of a community. Experience the journey on this earth too. Now, what is the theme as related to masculine for divine feminine? Surrender to divine. So you're getting this in two ways. What do you need to release and surrender to the divine? And spirit is saying, this is full moon part. And spirit is saying, Surrender this connection to the divine. Stop holding on, holding on to the fight, holding on, putting your foot in it, just waiting for this victory to happen. Surrender. Surrender, surrender, surrender. Release. It's time to let go fully and move on. It's time to use this energy of personal clarity or is the sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. This is the third eye. You know, people, that you need to dedicate your effort to your own wishes and you need to break out and unlock yourself from the chains of this suspension in the union. Spirit is saying, feminines, as related to your masculine, surrender this connection to me. Use that knowledge. You already know feminine. 
that you need to dedicate the effort to your own wishes, to your own dreams, and break out of holding on to someone or something because of pride, because of ego, because you know that it should work out between the two of you. You can know all day long that this connection should come into union, but if the other person is not choosing it, you are holding on in vain. You are holding on in pride. And spirit is telling me that you have to heal that energy, release it, release the energy of holding on and defending the connection and um, waiting for the union to occur. Surrender that weight, surrender it to the divine. Focus on your wishes. And you can't make this up because there's so much here that is in line. You have the number six, the six of wands, the seven, which is the seven of wands, the eight, which is the eight of pentacles, and the nine, which is the nine of cups. Six, seven, eight, nine. Just look at the way it goes. Six, seven, eight, nine. If you do that, there will be a completion of this energy and something very, very beautiful will come into your life. Experience the journey on both planes, the 5D and the 3D. Too many people are living up in the 5D in that energy of union where everything is perfect and blissful and we're always together, we're always energetically connected and they are missing this life on earth. God did not send you here to sit in a waiting room. Experience your life. Do that, please. Do not let your pride get in the way. If you want to book your own personal reading, coaching session, or healing session, go to queenalight1111.com. Have a great day. Bye.